All right, this is an attempt to show a rescue vehicle. Um, let's say that you have a craft that is stuck on the ceiling um, because it's just too good <laughs> and you for some reason leapt out of it or it escaped you or whatever and it's just sitting there. Um, it's going to forever annoy you and cause lag so you could just you know go back to an earlier save or start a new map but if you don't want to do that then you kind of want to get your ship back or at least you know recover it somehow. Um, I've made a very basic ship, it doesn't look any good, it's not the point, the point is just to make it work. Um, how does this work? Well, I have a whole bunch of engines, um, two to give me some minimal thrust so that I have some form of stability, four main engines to actually make me take off, and four other engines with a bit of a twist, which I'll explain. And then I have the normal, you know, rotation and backwards, forwards, sideways thrusters, no, no, nothing fancy. Um, this is very much like um, the build I have another video like that. It, it performs the same way and it's all very obvious, nothing fancy about that. Um, the only thing is that I'm in a ship that's open and high, so I can actually, you know, jump around, do shit, so I'm not, you know, held back by the engine. The engines are on top, by the way, because it adds uh, stability, not below me, because that would, you know, make it more unstable unstable um there's a railing here so it can't actually fall out unless i want to see so if i'm high up in the air and i'm trying to get that ship back and um you know this is safer and the real trick is or the real trick not really a trick at all um what i have here is a a a, a rotating block as you see that just moves into a sensor that fires the extra four engines um, that is set to start and then to go out and then and then the block goes back to, to its normal position so the engines stop uh, running so this gives you a timer to say okay I want the engines to run for a certain amount of time you can you know, change it with this slider obviously um, and that allows you to do your job trying to get the ship back and if you manage that or you fall and you and or you fall out um, this ship doesn't actually keep keep sticking to the ceiling because the main engines will stop after some point and uh, it will come back to the ground it's really not that difficult and I'm gonna set the timer on this uh, like so that's enough it gives me a bit of time so first let's see how this works I have the normal engine. Oh, I am, of course. Hold on a second. Different keys. <laughs> the normal engines, nothing fancy. This is all standard stuff. Rotation. There we go. This is my um, balancing engine. As you can see. This is my takeoff engine. See? So if I now disable this one. It's okay, it still wants to lift a little bit. So I'm not going to test the timer because it's going to take ages. Okay, so that's kind of going to work. Then we need a uh, target. Well, this is a tried and true concept. I've made this before in the other video. Um, this thing is just going to run to the top, get a bit of luck, stick there on the ceiling and just, you know, act as my my go-to target. I've mim I I mirrored it, so one of the, yeah, this one is connected. So let's just see. Um, I don't know. Bye. That's so beautiful. There it goes. The ceiling. Come on. Stay there. Stay. Yes, it stays. Nice. Right. Here we go. International rescue. Let's take off. gonna fly up make it easy on myself I can't really see anything um, there it is she just just above me okay cool nice and stable where is it there still there okay I'm gonna shut the engines down a little bit so I can
We don't want to bump into the ceiling. That would be poopy. Bump, see? <laughs> Gonna rotate a little bit. A little bit forward. Ah! See, bump. Not cool. Bump, no, no, bump. No, no! <laughs> okay, this is gonna take a lot more time. <laughs> if this craft is slightly unstable. I'm gonna cut it out and just... We'll just, you know, go back to uh, when I'm actually close to it because I kind of move far away right now. See you in a bit. Well, it seems I got it. I got really close. <laughs> so, how are we going to do this now? Well, I'm going to hit 9. Well, in my case, this opens the extra engine. I'm going to close the normal 4 engine. And now I have all the time to grab the ship. Now all I have to do is wait. Till the slot drops, because... I cannot, I can't click a button now because that means I will lose the ship. So I have to just, you know, wait for it to drop. See, there it goes. Engine dropped. There we go. I'm going to jump out, by the way, because why not? This one's falling to the ground. I'm falling to the ground. And as you can see, we're pretty much, you know. Doing just fine, almost on target. No idea where the other one is. Oh, there it comes. Oh, that, that, that's still the uh, this one, sorry. Obviously, it hasn't moved yet. There it is. And the other one will be somewhere on the ground fairly, fairly soon. But because it's tumbling, you know, it might end up anywhere. But you, you can, no, that's not it. You can just recover that. If you have a vehicle, you can just recover it from somewhere. That's it, really. Have fun.